Hey everybody, super excited to have a very special video for you today. There has been all kinds of shakeup and people scared and excited and things happening in the Facebook Messenger world and I wanted to bring you guys one of the experts in Facebook Messenger bots. Hey, this is Leah Ray from ToddandLeahRay.com and in this video we're going to talk about what's coming, what's happening, what were the recent announcements with Facebook Messenger bots because things are changing and people are either scared, excited, or just don't know what's happening. Now for Todd and I this really strikes home because we use Facebook Messenger bots very effectively in our business and it's been huge for us in the fact to be able to get really high open rates and engagement with our audience. And so when we heard things were changing, we wanted to bring to you our good friend Mark Harbert, who is an expert in Facebook Messenger bots, to help digest what's happening and kind of just give us the landscape of the, the scenario right now. So it was uh, recently, I don't know if it was announced, but it was, it was talked about at Facebook's um, conference that one of the things they're going to be doing is they're going to be getting rid of the API access, the ability to be able to broadcast. Um, and what that means essentially is that uh, if you're using a software like ManyChat or ChatFuel or some of the other ones out there, I think BotMonkey or there's some other ones out there, um, that you can't, uh, you won't be able to send a broadcast from the software. And what it's doing is they give you permission on the app level uh, and now it's moving to the page level. So in other words, you have to get uh, approved on your page from Facebook to be able to send uh, messages and so you have to submit that it can take up to five days they review it you have to give them a couple of examples about how you're how you're going to use it and so you still have the ability you'll have the ability to broadcast but you're going to have to be very uh, careful how you use it it can't be overly promotional in nature mm -hmm. um, you know the whole really the whole purpose of a subscription broadcast is to just re-engage. And so rather than just promoting something right off the bat, which is unfortunately what most marketers do, the goal is to engage in a conversation, lead them down a path to where you want them to go. So, um, you know, when things like this happen, I always, you know, it's, it, it's always, I've been doing this now for, you know, you know, 10 years online marketing. And believe me, in 10 years, I've seen all these changes happen. You know, like when Gmail, uh, you know, started with the tabs in Gmail, you know, right. the social tab and the promotion tab and, and all this. And you'd think like Armageddon was happening in yes. the marketing world, you know. Yes. And so everybody's freaking out and, oh, my gosh, you remember the sky is falling. And kind of that's what's happening, too, with, with many chat in some ways. But the truth is, is like nothing really changed. It just gave people the ability to, you know, um, reorganize their email and what was priority and what wasn't, you know. And um, I personally never saw, a, you know, any type of, a, um, you know, a drop or whatever. And I, I feel the same way regarding ManyChat is that nobody likes to be blatantly pitched anyway. Right. So, you know, the, the reality of it is it's really for those people that know how to market and are very astute at being marketing, we understand and we know that blatant pitches just are no good. Right. And if Facebook wants to maintain the integrity of Messenger, they're going to make they're going to clamp down and make sure that people, when they're doing a broadcast, uh, are doing it, you know, on the up and up. Now, the other cool thing is, is that you still will be able to broadcast and promote. You just now have to do it through sponsored messages. So oh. Facebook's going to get paid. Now, the other side of that whole thing is, is Facebook just closing a, a loophole because they're losing m money yeah. and they're a publicly traded company and they got to make money for their shareholders. So they're plugging a hole where at the app level, you know, you can uh, send these messages and you're not really, you know, getting, you know, you can send a promo message out and you're not paying for it because you've built a subscriber. Well, now if you want to just do a straight promo, you have to do it through a sponsored message, you know. Gotcha. But that's why you can still use, the, you'll be able to use broadcasting, but you got to use it in a, in a different style uh, if you want to be able to do it free, so to speak. Gotcha. So for the person who has heard of Facebook Messenger bots and is interested in it but hasn't put the effort yet into building that list yeah. and, and getting those subscribers, is this still something that you think that they should spend the time in doing? 100%. <laughs> like, it is the most, I don't know, I, I, badass strategy on Facebook. <laughs> I don't know how to put it. I mean, it's like, and it's going to continue to be. And I actually applaud this move by Facebook to rein in the subscription broadcasting 
because people abuse it. Yeah. And, you know, I was at a conference back in 2012 and Gary Vee was there. And, and uh, one of the things he said sitting in a room of marketers uh -huh. was, marketers always F everything up. That's what he said. Yeah. Of course, he didn't say F. You right. know, he said the actual <laughs> word, but, you know, um, it, it's true because marketers tend to totally screw things up. When there's a good thing, they, they overuse it. Uh, and it has to be reined in, and I think that's what Facebook is doing. But that certainly does not mean, by any stretch of the imagination, that bots are going away. Bots are going to be stronger than ever. It's going to, matter of fact, it's going to make them more effective right. because you're, you're, you're making it harder for the people who are not using them correctly uh, to, you know, they're either going to go away or they're going to adapt too. Right. And uh, that's, that's really what it does. So, so you're saying it's basically going to raise the bar for, raise the bar. Yeah. for Facebook Messenger. So yes, you're going to have to learn how to do it the right way. You have to be more intentional yeah. with what you're doing, but the end result can be a lot more beneficial for you and your business. Yeah. So I'll give you an example. Like, let's say um, you're in direct sales or network marketing. Mm -hmm. Okay. We know for a fact that you know just blatantly pitching somebody or sending them a link to something. Is never going to be a good, you know, a good outcome. Right. So a good way to use subscription broadcasting, especially as this change happens, would be to ask a simple question, send out a message that's a simple question, and you get people to respond back, and then you start actual conversations with people, mm -hmm. you know, on a mass scale. Um, it would never be a good thing to just send a blatant, you know, message that contains some type of a, a blatant upfront pitch. It just right. So that would go to a sales page. Yeah, like that. yeah, yeah. And you know, you give people, you know, an option or whatever. But it, it's just, I think it's going to be awesome. I'm excited about the changes. Um, I, I've just always adopted that idea that when change happens, especially in the marketing world, it's a good move. And uh, you know, I. I Trust why Facebook's doing it. Sure, they, they're probably going to make more money by doing sponsor ads, right. but they're a business. I mean, come on. You know, the, the goal of a business is to grow profits. You don't have to like them. Right. You know, you don't have to like it. You don't know any of that. But the truth is, is like, that's their job. And by law, they're supposed to increase profits for their shareholders. So whether that's the entire motivation, I don't know. But I don't know. I'm just excited about it. It's going to up the bar and it's going to make people who do it the right way stand out even more. So. That's awesome. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, that's good. Because really I think there was sort of an alarmist mentality when things started hitting, right? Yeah. That, oh my gosh, this was, I was using this or I was about to start this or, yeah. and then they're thinking, oh, it's not going to work anymore. Right. So in, in reality, folks, calm down. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's still going to work. You should still be building yeah. your messenger bot list. They're still going to yeah. be very valuable. You're just gonna have to learn how to market better. Yeah, and that's a good thing. The better yeah. we get at marketing, honestly, then the more sales and the more success you're gonna have in any way. Yep. And when you when you lead with value, which is essentially what we're gonna everyone's gonna have to do. You can't just blatantly yeah. pitch. You gotta lead yeah. with value and engage with your audience. That's when you make sales. Yep. You know, giving tons of value and nurturing that relationship. I mean, my my biggest question I'd ask anybody that's like you know freaking out with. Let me ask you: Do you like just getting a blatant ad in your inbox? On, on Messenger, I, most people would say, no, absolutely not. And um, so if you don't like that, why do you think anybody else would? Right. You know, and that we have to look at it from that point of view that Facebook has a very delicate, they have a balance that they need to strike. And the balance is all about user experience because if you have no users on the platform, uh, then advertisers have nobody to, you know, target. And Facebook makes its money from advertisers, so they need to give advertisers a way to do it, but they've got to keep the balance between keeping their users happy as well. And with all the controversy lately around Facebook, you know, they're taking some pretty drastic measures to make sure that they can build the trust. And, I, you know, whether you like Facebook or you agree with all the philosophy, what I, you know, whatever, the point is, is um, you don't have to like Facebook to use their platform to build your business. <laughs> right. I mean, Absolutely you know, not. I mean, the, the truth is, is like, I know from one thing from business, it's go where the people are. Yeah. You know, I don't like the mall. Okay, I'm not a big mall guy, but if if I was selling sunglasses <laughs> and, and I know, was going to go where the people were, I know that I need to set up a kiosk at the mall because right. that's where the people are. Right. But I hate the mall, but I go where the people are. 
Yeah, you know? that's right. How you make money. Yeah, that's how you make money. It's business. Awesome. Well, I appreciate your time. Yeah. I, hopefully, this calmed everyone's fears. Now, if you want to learn how to use Messenger bots or learn how to really, maybe you're playing with it now, but you want to learn how to get more subscribers, how to market effectively with it, which is what you're going to have to do as this changes, as these changes roll out, then I, in down in the description, open up the little drop down. I'll make sure that we have a link to Mark's Messenger course. His Messenger course is exactly, he's got a webinar, guys. He's going to show you how to use Messenger because that, that's what we used to get yeah. started. And we have built our Messenger list up to, you know, 17,000 or something huge. And we're doing it the right way because we went through his webinar and we learned what to do. So I'll make sure that's in there for you guys. Now, if you're building a business online and you haven't checked out our training, make sure that you click the link at the top of the description to get access to our online trainings and to teach you how to go from zero to six figures, six figures and above. Now, please know we are rooting for you. We are here to help you create the time freedom that you and your family deserve. So if you're new, if this is the first video you're watching of ours, make sure that you subscribe, click that subscribe button so that we can help you do just that. Once again, this is Leah Ray from ToddandLeahRay.com. Head over to the video that should be floating up above my head right here. Watch that one next and we'll see you soon.